when they play the Star Spangled Banner and they're up there and they're getting it, you just really get emotional. It, Tonight it, was supposed to be the moment of a lifetime for Joyce Davidson. She was headed to Salt Lake City to see her granddaughter, Jen Davidson, who along with partner Jean Racine were favorites for Olympic gold. And as you saw this weekend, the Americans are always very tough, so it's going to be a good field. They just took the place by storm. They just were winning and winning. And 23 World Cup medals to be exact. They would win no more. Racine broke up the team in December, a week before the Olympic trials. This after assuring Davidson the night before the two were rock solid. Jean had told her they were having a push-off, and she said, there's no need for you to go because it's just to determine who's going to be in the number two sled, and you're already in mine. So Jen didn't even go, and when it was over, Jean came in and said, you're out, Gia's in. Gia Johnson, a total stranger, is Racine's new partner, shattering a four-year friendship with the only partner she had ever known and the golden dreams of the Davidson family. They were very close. I know that without any forewarning, Jen wouldn't have done this to Jean, but I, I can't understand why Jean did it to Jen. A question sponsors now ask who invested heavily in a dynamic duo who appeared destined to be Olympic icons. Nothing screams American sports hero like being front and center on a cereal box. Just ask Tiger Woods, John Andretti, and Jen Davidson, just the start of what was big money endorsements from big money companies. Presenting the first women's bobsled event in Olympic history. This happens in competition, he's toast. Among others, Visa and Chevrolet put stock in the two, totaling a half million dollars. Even souvenir shops still sell programs with a smiling Davidson. But smiles are few and far between for the Davidsons in Utah and right here in Siouxland. <laughs> you got a better offer. <laughs> Racine's better offer might bring a long-anticipated goal. It might not. But it did stall a friendship of the fastest girls on ice and fracture a moment of a proud grandma who never made it to Salt Lake. She was so excited about it and she loved it so much, but we're just crushed by the, what's happened. In Sioux City, Iowa, Jesse Kurtz. ABC News.